Munster travelled to the sports ground knowing that a win would see them go back to second in the table with many experienced names restored to the starting 15 having slipped up at home to Glasgow last time out. Connacht coach Pat Lamb made seven changes from the side that conceded 58 points to Ulster in their previous game. Willie Falloon made his first start in seven months after injury. It was a typically tight derby match in the early stages before the first score arrived in the 15th minute. Mia Nakora selected at number 10 over Dan Park still had plenty to do with that penalty from long range but his kick was spot on and Connacht were 3-0 up. Almost immediately Munster responded. Off the back of the scrum with Connacht dozing in defence, Andrew Conway burst through and under the posts for the first try of the evening. Conway sporting a new look mohawk was unstoppable in for his third try of the campaign and Ian Keatley converted for a 7-3 Munster lead after 17 minutes. The game was opening up and Connacht didn't take long to get their noses back in front with another brilliantly executed move. From the scrum the men in green caught the Munster defence flat footed before Matt Healy hit fifth gear on the wing to get over for the score. Healy's try, his fourth of the season, putting Connacht 8-7 ahead. Nicora missed the conversion, but it was advantage Connacht midway through the first half. Keatley kicked two penalties to put Munster 13-8 ahead, and in the 35th minute they turned the screw further. With Connacht moving cross field, Robbie Henshaw's pass was intercepted by Gerhard van den Hever and he had an open run to the line for a second monster try. Huge disappointment for Connacht, who were now 12 points in arrears after Keatley converted. The man from Blumfontein's third try of the season, Connacht 8, Munster 20. And before Connacht could recover, Munster hit them once more. As the home side attacked, the ball was turned over and scrum half Duncan Williams brilliantly kicked ahead and collected before feeding fullback Dennis Hurley, who had another clear run to the line for a third monster try. The Corkman's first score since September. This one under the posts left Keatley with a simple conversion for a 27-8 lead. A quick double whammy that left Connaught on the ropes with Munster 19 points to the good at the halftime break. Connaught then edged back into the encounter in the 53rd minute, stretching the Munster defence. The ball was eventually fed to Owen McKeown, and the number eight crossed the paint for the home side's first score of the second half try that brought it back to 13-27. Nicora off target with the conversion, but a chink of light for the men in green. Nicora tagged on three more points with another penalty for 16-27 on 63 minutes, but Munster eventually wore the Connacht men down, and the bonus point was achieved eight minutes from time. Not necessarily a thing of beauty, but a vital score for the men in red nevertheless. Number eight, Paddy Butler, delivering the score with a touchdown in front of the referee, who raised his arm without the need to go to the TMO. Munster had the bonus point and double scores 32-16 in front. Late on, there was consolation for Connacht when winger Danny Poolman intercepted a loose Van den Hever pass. And the South African ran half the length of the pitch before dotting down for the home side's third try of the game. Too little too late for the men in green, but it did put respectability on the scoreline. Great handling from Poolman before setting off for the line. When Parks converted, it left the scores 23 points to Munster's 32. A bonus point win for the visitors who go second in the table after this one. Still well on course for the playoffs and now turning their attention to a Heineken Cup semi-final next. A disappointing defeat for Connacht who've struggled all season against Irish opposition. Final score at the sports ground, Connacht 23, Munster 
32.